Diving into idioms, understanding knee deep in trouble. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we aim to make English learning fun and easy for you. Today, we're exploring an interesting English idiom, knee deep in trouble. If you've ever wondered what it means to be knee deep in something other than water, you're in the right place. Let's dive into the world of idioms and uncover the meaning and usage of this phrase. The phrase, knee deep in trouble, is an idiom that paints a vivid picture to describe a situation. Being knee deep in something literally means that something comes up to your knees. However, when we use this phrase metaphorically, it means being heavily involved in a difficult situation or problem. It suggests that someone is in a situation that is not easy to get out of, much like trying to walk through a deep, muddy water that reaches your knees. While the exact origins of knee deep in trouble are not clear, idioms like this one are often born from physical experiences that are common to many people. Over time, they gain a metaphorical meaning that relates to everyday life situations. In English, you might use knee deep in trouble to describe personal, professional, or academic difficulties. For example, if someone has too many assignments due at the same time and is struggling to complete them, they could say they are knee deep in trouble with their coursework. Let's see how this idiom works in a few sentences. After missing the project deadline, I found myself knee deep in trouble with my boss. He was knee deep in trouble when he realized he had forgotten his wedding anniversary. They were knee deep in trouble trying to fix the issue before the client noticed. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various scenarios, emphasizing the depth of the problem or challenge faced. Idioms like knee deep in trouble enrich the English language, adding color and depth to our expressions. They allow us to convey complex situations in a few words, creating vivid imagery that can be easily understood by others. We hope this video has shed some light on this particular idiom and perhaps even made your learning journey a bit more enjoyable. Remember, tackling idioms one at a time can help you become more fluent and expressive in English. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.